वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास फाइव मैथ्स लेसन टू एडिशन एंड सब्सट्रैक्शन सेशन टू पॉइंट फोर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी विल डू सब्सट्रैक्शन वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स आर वेरी स्केर्ड ऑफ दी वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स आई यू ऑल्सो स्केर्ड ऑफ वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स आर नथिंग बट एन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ योर इंग्लिश एंड मैथ्स इंग्लिश में आपने अनसीन पैसेज किया है ये उसी के जैसे है आपको वो क्वेश्चन पढ़ना है क्वेश्चन में जो इन्फॉर्मेशन दे रखी है उसके सेंटेंसेस बना कर लिखना है और मैथ्स तो आपको आता ही है देन जस्ट डू द कैलकुलेशंस एंड फाइंड द आंसर लेट अस अप्रोच टू डेज वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स विद दिस न्यू आउटलुक लेट अस लुक एट द एग्जांपल अ फैक्ट्री प्रोड्यूसर्स 1369852 फैंस इन 2018 एंड 17 Eight six three two nine fans in two zero one nine. Find the increase in production of fans. So here they have given us the number of fans produced in two thousand eighteen, and they have also given us the number of fans produced in two thousand nineteen. All we have to do is find the increase in the production of fans. That means how many more fans did they produce in two thousand nineteen? To find that increase number, we have to subtract in this sum. To make the sentences for the word problem, we will read one portion of the question at a time. The first part is a factory produces one three six nine eight five two fans in two thousand eighteen and one seven eight six three two nine fans in two thousand nineteen. Now we will write the higher number on top. That is the number of fans produced in two thousand nineteen. Fans produced in two thousand nineteen. Next statement will be fans produced in two thousand eighteen. Now you could also just write a subtraction sign here, and write increase in production and subtract it here only. Or a better way of doing it is write increase in production, then we subtract. Now here, I will show you how are we going to subtract. Nine minus two seven. We started from the ones column, okay? Then two minus five. So two is very small to give away five. We will have to borrow from the neighbor, and which neighbor will we take from? We will take from the neighbor on left. So three we will cut and make it two, and this two we will cut and write twelve on top. Now twelve minus five is seven. Now again, we are faced with the same problem. From two, we cannot subtract eight, so we will go to the left side neighbor. That is six. We will take one from there, cancel six, and write five. Cancel two here and write twelve. From twelve, we will subtract eight, and we will get four. From five, we cannot subtract nine, so again we go to the left side neighbor, which is eight. We cancel eight, write seven. Then we cut five and write fifteen. Fifteen minus nine is six. So we will write six here. Then seven minus six one. Seven minus three, which is four, and one minus one is zero. So we get increase in production of fans was by four one six four seven seven. Example two. Total sale of a shop in the month of May was rupees eight nine five six three two one. If the sale for first two weeks were rupees two five six nine eight six five and rupees two one seven five eight zero zero, find the sale of the remaining weeks. Now, in this question, what have we understood by reading the question? they have given us the sale for the month of may okay then they have given us sale for first two weeks also now they want us to find out the sale for the remaining weeks so first they we will take the information where they have given us the sale per week for first two weeks they have given we will write that only sale in the first week Rupees two five six nine eight six five, sale in the second week. Rupees two one seven five eight double zero. 
now we will find the sale in first two weeks so we will add these two numbers right so we will write sale in the first two weeks which is going to be two five six nine eight six five plus two one seven five eight double zero now i've put the question on top for our reference the two numbers were we add the numbers we get the answer so this gives us the sale in first two weeks now after we have got the sale in the first two weeks and we also know from the question the sale of the entire month we have to find out the sale of the remaining two weeks so next statement we will write total sale is rupees 8956321 now refer to the question again see the last segment find the sale of the remaining weeks so we we will write sale of the remaining weeks is equal to now for finding the remaining week sale what we'll do from total sale we'll subtract the sale of first two weeks which is going to be 8956321 minus 47456665 now here we have in the ones column 1 minus 5 we can't subtract 5 from 1 so we will take a borrow from the left side neighbor 2 We'll cut two, write one. We will cut one and write eleven on top. Eleven minus five gives us six. Now from one we have to subtract six. So again we will borrow. We will cut three, write two, and we will cut one and write eleven. Eleven minus six we can do. So we'll do eleven minus six five. Then two minus six. Again we will go to the neighbor on left, which is six. We will cut six, write five. We will cut two, write twelve on top. Twelve minus six, six. Five minus five, zero. Five minus four, one. Nine minus seven, two. Eight minus four, four. Now after this calculation is done, now we will write the answer as sale for the remaining weeks is rupees. Four two one zero six five six. Now, students, we are done with the two examples. I'm reminding you again: don't be scared of the word problems. This is just an integration of your English and maths class. You read the question, you understand the question. That is where your English helps you, and then you put it in your own words. After you have done that, you know addition and uh, subtraction. that is what you are doing now let us do a worksheet to enhance your understanding worksheet 2.4 the solutions to this worksheet will be uploaded on the channel those of you who have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when i upload the solutions question 1 the sum of two numbers is 6598235 If one of the numbers is four eight six three two five eight, find the other number. So here they have given us the sum of two numbers, and they have also told us one of the number. We have to find the other number. Question two: What should be added to four five three nine eight five so that the sum becomes one zero one two five nine eight? in this particular question they have given us one number and they are asking what should we add to this particular number to get the sum as 1012598 you will subtract 453985 from 1012598 question 3 The difference of two numbers is eight five six three two four. If the greater number is four eight six two four five one, find the smaller number. In this question, they have given us the difference between two numbers and they have given us the greater number. So to find the smaller number, first statement that you will write is the difference between two numbers is you will write eight five six three two four. Then you will write the greater number is four eight six two four five one. then the smaller number will be you will subtract from the greater number the difference you will get the smaller number question 
The population of a city is 8596341. If the number of males is 4695329, find the number of females. They have given us the population of the city. They have given us the number of males in the city and we have to find the number of females. The statements for this question will be population of a city, number of males and number of females. For number of females, you will subtract and find the answer. Question 5. The cost of a car is rupees 1563298. Ramesh has rupees 998523 with him. How much money does he need to borrow from the bank to buy the car? In this particular question, they have told us the cost of a car. And they have told us the amount that Ramesh has with him. Now, we can clearly see the amount that he is having is less than the cost of the car. So, he will have to borrow some money from the bank. We have to find out how much money he will borrow. The statements for this will be cost of car, rupees 1563298. Then, second statement will be amount Ramesh has, rupees 9985.23. For the third statement, you can always go to the question and look what they are asking. They are asking how much money does he need to borrow from the bank to buy the car. You can write amount Ramesh needs to borrow. Then we will subtract and find the answer and report. Question 6. 9564258 bags of rice were stored in a godown. 2254236 bags were taken out in April and... 3569856 bags were taken out in May. How many bags are left in the go down after May? Now this is the question like the second example that I had explained to you. First you will find out the number of bags that were taken out. So you will write number of bags taken out in April, number of bags taken out in May, total number of bags taken out. You will add the two numbers. Then the next statement will be total number of bags of rice in the go down and then number of bags left. Whatever answer you had got from adding the two numbers initially, that number you will subtract from the total and then you will report the answer. I wish you luck with your worksheet and until we meet again, stay safe, stay happy.